Setting a price that provides you a profit while matching customer expectations is one of the most important things you'll do as a business owner. To help you get your pricing right, follow these three steps. First, make sure you are making money from every sale. Determine this by reviewing the margin you've added to your cost of goods or by deducting your cost of goods from your sale price. Then consider your overhead costs, especially if you sell numerous products. Accounting for fixed costs, like utilities, rent, and repairs and maintenance, will help you avoid turning a profit-driving product into a loss. Second, once you know the price you need to charge to turn a profit, decide what you can charge. They're not the same thing. Too low and you're leaving money on the table. Too high and you may lose customers to competitors listing their products for less. Pay attention to price structures in your industry and know what your competitors are charging too. Then, identify where you want to be positioned, either at the top of the market as a premium or high value option, at the bottom to compete on price and dry volume, or somewhere in the middle to provide the best value option in comparison to your competitors. At all times, the balance of supply and demand will impact opportunities to charge more when there is high demand and low supply and when you need to charge less when demand is low and supply is high. Third, adjust your pricing based on the seasonality of your business or marketing and promotion strategies. For example, at some points you may lower your price temporarily to gain new customers, win a bid, offset a traditional slow period, or react to a competitor move. You may even use products and services as a lost leader, selling a product or service at a price that is not profitable, but designed to attract customers or to sell additional, more profitable products and services later on. Of course, you may decide to increase your price because of a new competitive advantage, like managing to source products no one else has, becoming aware of the customer's budget, or because your business is so busy that you can choose to take on customers who are willing to pay top dollar. Regardless of how you price, it's often useful to build in small incremental rises over time, rather than introducing one big increase that surprises your customers. And remember, leave some room for negotiation, depending on your industry. Pricing is a test and learn process, so constantly review and update your approach on a regular basis.